Trevor, Caleb, and Jaden, what game are we playing today? Shadows over, over Camelot. Camelot. There it is, and check out the board. Wow, there's a lot of boards. A lot of boards. A lot of boards. Do you guys like Shadows over Camelot? Yep. Yep. Indeed. Indeed you do. Awesome. Well, Caleb, why do you like Shadows over Camelot? Because it's fun. Yeah. Short and sweet. Trevor, how about you? I like how everyone's working together, and it's a cooperative game, but there could be a potential traitor, and you don't know. And I like the theme of like the medieval Camelot stuff. Yeah. And Jaden, how about you? Why do you like it? I like all the different things you can do in one board game, and I like the artwork. Yeah, it is awesome. Let's check it out. Let's check out the main board. Trevor, what are all the parts on the main board? Well, here's the round table with all the knights. There can be seven players, uh, one knight for each player. Those are awesome. This is your little table where these swords go, either good or bad. Okay. Here are quests, here, here, and here. And right here is the little siege engine area where these things are placed. Awesome. Oh my goodness, there's so much. And Caleb, what's the board up by you? The Grail quest. That's the Grail quest? Yep. What are the other two quest boards? The quest for Lancelot's armor and the quest for Excalibur. And there's something on the back of the one you've got there, Jaden. Oh yes, there is the quest for the dragon. The dragon quest. So a ton of different quests you can go on. Very dangerous. Oh, that. sweet. Okay, so what's the objective? What are you trying to do? Well, you're trying to get a majority of white swords on this table. Okay. And if you get, once the twelfth sword is placed, whatever uh, side, white or black, has more swords, that side wins. Okay, so it seems pretty simple. Is that the only way to lose the game? Indeed, no. Oh, how else do you lose the game? For behold, if all the knights have died and perished in battle, then you lose. And if each one of these siege engine areas is filled with siege engines, then you lose. And that's happened quite a few times. So those happen. Now, can everybody go on every quest? Caleb, can everybody go out on every quest? Yes. No, but this, no, this quest, the quest for Lancelot's armor and the black quest for defeating the Black Knight are solo quests. Okay, but some of the quests are perpetual, they keep happening. Others, those separate boards, just happen once, mm -hmm. and then they get yeah. flipped over. Awesome. <laughs> well, who wants to tell me what you, how you basically take a turn? Well, first you do your evil action. <gasps> okay, so what's your evil action? What can you do for your evil action, Caleb? There's a line. Ooh. These are your life points right here, these dice. Okay. Start with four, go down. Okay, four so up. you could take a hit to your life. Yes. Put a siege engine on. Add a siege engine to attack, yeah. Or draw a black card. And what does the black card do? What one did you draw? Saxons. And that oh. puts these guys out on the board. Oh, so that starts that quest on a bad note, huh? Sweet. And then what do you do after you do your evil action? You do her your heroic action. Oh, sweet. And what are your heroic actions? Well, first you can go to a quest. Okay. Or you can draw two cards if you are at, at the round table. Okay. And you drew some cards. What are your cards? Now everybody starts with a hand of cards, but right. then you can draw more cards. Yes. What are those two cards? Show them to me. Oh, you got a fight card plus a special card. Yep. Cool. And you'll use those at different times throughout the game, huh? Yep. There's a wide variety of heroic actions. <laughs> you head off on quests. And you have special powers. Trevor, what's that card in front of you? This is kind of like your knight's coat of arms. Okay. So here's King Arthur's. It says, here's his special power. Once per turn, you may exchange one white card face down with any knight of your choice. Wow. Well, it, it looks uh, like there's a lot on that card, but I see what it has down on the bottom. It's, yeah, it's a lot got of it's your, just um, your winning your, conditions. Your game turn how you can lose your game. And on the back, if you're the traitor, this is what you got. Well, how do you know if you're the traitor? Can you just be a traitor if you want? I wish. I wish. 
Can there be many traders, Jaden? No. There are loyalty cards. That are passed out see. at the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the game, if you want a potential trader, you um get however knights are however many knights are playing. In this case, there are three, so you get this and four loyalty cards. Okay. And shuffle them all together, and then you would pass them out. Okay. So there could be a trader. There might not. And everyone secretly looks at the card. I'm loyal. Well, you don't display it. No. But just for an example. I'm loyal. <laughs> <laughs> so, you hide those under your coat of arms, and so Trevor's trying to sabotage the whole game while you're playing it, but you guys don't but know it? be secretive. Oh. One of your heroic actions is to accuse a traitor. Man. So is there a lot to keep track of in this game? Yeah. Yeah, you cannot stand still. Yeah. You can't stand still, meaning it doesn't just happen. Stop. Caleb, you look anxious to play it. Yay. So how do you know if you win or lose a quest? Take that Excalibur quest, Jaden. Okay. The what happens if you win or what happens if you lose a quest? You can see at every game ball or every quest there is our winning conditions and losing conditions. If you lose Excalibur, you get two black swords at the round table and whoever is on that quest loses a life. But if you win, you get two white swords Nice. Whoever's on the quest shares the seven cards amongst themselves and gets a life, and whoever played the final card gets Excalibur. And on your coat of arms it said what special things happen. Yeah. And you just place that on your coat of arms to know that you have it. So each quest area tells your winning conditions, your losing conditions. Man, that is packed in. So, what would you rate this game, Trevor? What do you give Shadows over Camel? 4.5. That's your point? Nice. And Kayla, what do you rate it? Five. You give it a full five? Mm -hmm. Has there been a game that we've played it that you haven't wanted to join in? Nope. Join in every time. And Jaden? 4.5. It's an awesome game. Yeah. We stayed up a little late playing this game, huh? Mm -hmm. and you guys have no all comment. No we comment. We stayed up till 10 o'clock. Uh, yeah, it was much later than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks guys. No problem.